So yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gym leader Brock here for another week of brew talk, bro talk block. I almost called it brew. <laughs> brew. <laughs> Yeah, a special micro brew coming out. Right, exactly. Shut up. <laughs> we do not. Otaku brew. <laughs> Here at Mighty Mauricio, or the Mighty Mauricio. We should get the hops out of uh, Japanese whiskey barrels. Keep it real anime. Okay. Work with Nigo. He, him and uh, Pharrell got that whiskey. Exactly. Or is it whiskey or is it? Probably whiskey. Sake. Is it sake? Sake or tequila, I think. It's a white. Huh. Hmm. Also got Prince Petty here with us. Hello. And Tiffzilla, a.k.a. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> a.k.a. Obi-Wan didn't have dicks in it. <laughs> there we go. go. Not a single dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to explain that. I mean, actually it does, because Anakin's a dick. Man. No, he's just misunderstood. <laughs> I'm misguided. I mean, yeah. He's not wrong, though. He is definitely misunderstood nah, at this a point. Dick, cause, I mean, we can get, we, well, I don't know if we should get into it because we have all haven't seen it, but. Oh, I know the story. Who hasn't seen it? No, not the story. I'm talking about a specific thing that happens. And I was like, Jesus. Yes. Are you talking about the town scene? Yes. Yeah. I see well, why he did it. What he did. I understand. <laughs> Tell me. I'm I get it. Now. I need to know. You need to but know. you know why he did it. Yeah, man. Hey, Obi Wan is fresh. I don't know if we can like dive yeah, into that. Yeah, this Just is know an anime that, podcast. Vader did some understandable things. No, um, understandable. It, it was to do things. It, it, it was, was to get from line with character. I guess. So, so check right. Like, how would you feel if you got your arm cut off or whatever? And you're pretty upset, right? And you, you know, you're trying to recover, mm-hmm. and you know, you're now Vader, and you pull up. How would you feel? Wait, my arm's cut off and on Vader? Yeah. Bro, you missing legs. Yeah, that's too. You're missing a lot. You're missing a lot. You're already Vader now. Yeah, Yeah. you're Vader. You are. And you still don't know how to use your body. I don't think they are either. I feel like we are. No, we are. I'm trying to get him to the place of the mental mindset. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that that you sympathize with him as well. No, I'm not. But I'm giving him the. (laughs) (laughs) It sounds like he does to me. (laughs) So my arms are gone and on Vader. Yeah. So you angry, right? Yeah, bro. My name is Tim Zilla. I'm the non-sociopath. <laughs> bro, it's not even. It's just understanding. So you just pull it up. With, uh, with I just anger. understand why he did it. Am That's, I cyborg? Yes. Like you. Yes. You're bit, the thing. I mean, I guess we're on the same page. He, he, he removed my arm. There's a reason there. for it, though. But then that justifies. Because then I'm gonna probably do some stuff. Everything. He's done worse. I don't know if he... He did it worse before Darth Vader. Let's be honest. He slammed that man yes. with the force into the roof. But that's why I was trying to say it's in line with I wouldn't character. say it was worse. Yeah. But he's still it wasn't par. I see par. what he... I mean, I like, with that, I can't say anything without spoiling what happened. So we'll have to talk offline on that one. Yeah. But I we see can, why it happened, bro. I mean, nobody's talk. worse than his bitch-ass grandson killing his daddy. Anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck that guy. I know what I have to do. Anyway. Yeah, I hate that motherfucker. He didn't even do it right. Right? Yeah. But you know what this whole series did explain? The naming convention of Ben. And I appreciate that. Oh. Wait, how did it explain I can't that? spoil that for you. No, but I get it. But like, you know how like everyone was upset that they that she named him Ben and there wasn't really a rhyme or reason to it because she didn't really have a relationship with him. Like that this series, like she has awesome. a relationship. So like Leia names her son Ben. And before the series came out, that made no sense because she had like four minutes of screen time. With Obi Wan, because I was like, "Why would you name him Ben?" Oh, I had to, you had and to now, get to that point yeah, yeah. yeah. So, ben and was. now, it, like, Got makes him. sense. It was like she doesn't know him as Obi Wan; she only knows his, knows him as Ben. Yeah. So it's like, all right, there's the plot hole. All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I that makes sense. I f- I just thought like it was like a gr- like a group f, you know, like a takes a village. Oh no, nah, bro! Because <laughs> Han Solo he didn't even know him like that. <laughs> We need a name. <laughs> Should we name this baby? And like Luke was like, "Well, how about you know if it wasn't for him, we would- yeah." But Luke knew his real name. I mean, yeah, but like still, like it was, <laughs> you know, that, he was like, "No, nah, that's kind of weird." We wanted to get a job. I like your reasoning. That's probably about the same amount we of reasoning I have. I have as to why Darth Vader did what he did. So we're on the same no. page. <laughs> <clears throat> Is it? Is becoming a Jedi or a Sith nurture or nature? Because he had both of his parents, and he still became a dickhead. Who? It's nurture. Uh, 
Oh, you're talking about Kylo. Kylo, yeah. Or Ben. So they fucked they fucked him up there. Yeah, we they that that was, you know, a big deal in Last Jedi. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Argue, arguably it's religion. The, there's always a, you know, a pull. Mm-hmm. So. Hmm. So yeah, that was Obi Wan. There's no dicks in Obi Wan. Also, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we don't have to get into it, but they they lightly explain explain the Obi Wan too. But continue. I guess we weren't actually going anywhere because we never finished the opening. But wow, yeah. yeah. So uh, well, we're in it now. Huh? Anyway, that was uh, I guess the Obi Wan chat. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Or at least part right. one of it. Cross that off. <laughs> yep. Boom. You're welcome. I um, need a pin scratching sound. So, backtrack. That actually came through on the mic. No. <laughs> Put some lotions on you. Jesus. I'm a nerd. <laughs> He's, a He's working out casting for Stranger Things to be in the group for yes. the next season. I want to be the comic book shop owner. Yep. He's a JoJo character. <laughs> <laughs> My stand is ashy. Episode would ever. Exactly. <laughs> that guy. I'm only going to see it. Two more times today. <laughs> Gets back in line. Yeah, you do that voice so well. <laughs> <laughs> you know that guy. <laughs> so, uh, random news. Uh, Universal Studios Japan is opening Mario Kart ride in 2023. That's dangerous. Bro, Wait, what? Yeah, like a roller coaster? Fun. Or a course? So, from the video, I can't tell. Like, I think they're in individual cars. I think the individual cars move on like a track. Not that mm. you're driving, but like there's a track, like a roller coaster. Mm. But there's also like a screen at one point of it. So mm. like you feel like you're in thing. I feel like it's not going to be more exciting than the actual Mario Kart go-karts in the street. It's definitely not. Because that's it's predetermined definitely. who's winning then. Yeah, I think it's I think it's more like... It's just the naming convention for the run. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it looked cool because, I mean, it's the official Mario Kart ride. Mm-hmm. So... I need somebody to make, like, clear out, like, 100 acres and make an actual course with actual, like, items you can throw, but it won't kill you, you know. Like, clearly give people roll cages and stuff so they don't die. Like, give but, somebody an apple? Yeah. <laughs> or, like, or like a balloon filled with, like, food coloring. I feel like you just played Mario Kart, and <laughs> yes. now you're trying to play again. I'm pretty good at it. So far, I've been hard to take out. Mm. Them blue shells can't touch me. <laughs> This the guy who has gone through <laughs> like three several cars. cars. Yeah. <laughs> <Should not. laughs> oh no, brother! He just please. coming in first. He keeps seeing him with them turtle shells. <laughs> right. On this wooden table, please. <laughs> no, I'm good because I didn't pay for this car. Blue shell. I don't mean what. No, not, so all my cars have been hit were paid off. Mm. I get it. I, I, I didn't get buy it. this one, so I'm safe. I get it. I don't know if the I don't know if I like your logic for that, that way, but yeah, I understand how you got there. Right. Mm-hmm. You should still. I wish it for you. Tap on the chair. Just. So you sympathize with Darth Vader too? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of petty, right? I read this little like screenshot of Thanos. I don't know if you know what comic it is. What run? So Thanos is giving this woman visions of how, what her life could have been if he hadn't fucked with her when she was like 15. <laughs> yeah. That's all her death bed. Oh, my God. I was like, yeah. guess what, bitch? Yeah. You could have had a life. Right. <laughs> she literally, like, they show her, like, in her 30s, 40s, or whatever, like, wishing she could be a better person and, like, have a better life. And then they show her on her death bed, like, with every disease possible. Like, she's like, her eyes are white from cataracts and stuff. And Thanos is like touching her head, giving her visions of what she could have been. And he's like, ha ha, bitch. That's right. <laughs> and he all did he did it all for death, Lady Death. Yeah. And then Deadpool still stole the cheeks. Yep. Damn Goodness. Did he have the Infinity Gauntlet? Because they just be giving Thanos power. Just... I don't think he did. He didn't have it for the the his obsession with death Mm-mm. stuff. He just got powers. Yeah. Because that was the whole reason he even did the whole Infinity Gauntlet thing, too. But they don't touch on that in the movies because yeah. it's comics versus movies. I was kind of mad about this. I, I, I'm, even though you could argue it, I understand changing it. Yeah. No, I oh, get yeah. it, too. It makes sense. It just, There's no, it's hard to explain Lady Death. Yeah. Especially they haven't even brought her in as mm-hmm. a character. Yeah. There's been a lot. Yeah. Play the whole time. Yeah. Just to be like, yo, he he's a simp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it takes away from his character. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Takes away from the Thanos. Have we had a Marvel villain that's a simp yet? 
Not for a person, though. No, not yet. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? What do you like, mean not for a person? Clarify. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I mean, Elaborate. Like, oh, no, I don't want to simp over like a relationship yet. Not that he simped at all. I'm just saying there wasn't like a relationship simp. I mean, Cap. Kind of. Did Ooh. this make him Captain oh, yeah. America? Well, he's a good guy. Yeah, but he's a good but guy. He, I said yeah. villain, sir. Oh, you said a villain. <laughs> oh. He did simp over his girl and his, and his best friend. Oh, you know what? Uh, Shang-Chi. Oh, forgot about that. That's fucked up calling okay. me a simp for the man wife. <laughs> she dead, bro. Get over it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh god. I mean, technically, in the same thought process, he got hey, the guys, same Thanos got treatment. Married. Hmm? <laughs> Fucking simp. <laughs> he got the same as Thanos treatment. He got played. Kind of. Yeah. He was only a bad guy because he got played. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of anybody. No, it's the only one I can think of recently. Yeah. Everybody else was in it for money or power. Yep. Or they were scorned by the good guys. Mm. Like Vulture. There's several that are scorned by the good guys. Yeah. That's true. Best one for me is Vulture, so, though. That's all the Tony Stark villains. Well, the first one was money. It's true. It is all his villains. The first one was for money and power, and then the rest of them was scorned by Tony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even even though Vulture was Spider-Man's villain, that Vulture was scorned was by Tony. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Stark. Yeah. <laughs> Ruin my business. I'm gonna go terrorize this kid instead. Yeah. <laughs> instead of yeah, he didn't even go after Tony. Dude, I'm telling you, man, best scene ever for me is him in the car with Peter. Oh yeah, not even knowing for sure that Spider Man, mm-hmm. but just like I'm gonna fucking kill you, bro. Yeah, and Peter Parker being Spider Man who could like punch a hole through this man's face is terrified. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like yo, <laughs> hey Pete. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can I call you Pete? I was like yeah, looking in the rear view and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> like when you think about like this man done like let me see which what spider man see he's done the the train was toby right yeah so this one this tom holland he did, did the, 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 the boat St- staten island ferry yeah. Staten island ferry. Oh, yeah, yeah this man had a ferry together he could punch a hole through that driver's seat into his back and he was still scared he emotional must- damage yep <laughs> love it that's the best feeling ever <laughs> And then he was too good for the other villains when he got to jail in the after credits and they was like, hey, we need to talk. He was like, no, fuck you. Now it's Morbin time. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> good segue, right? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> so they're back in theaters, huh? Morpheus? Uh, oh, Morbius? Yeah, Mor- Morbius. Yeah, Morbius. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, Morbius is back in theaters. I mean, it's it's somewhere. I don't know if it's in theaters. It's in theaters. No, yeah, they got, brought it back, bro. It got re-released this weekend because of the memes, bro. The memes brought it. Wait, back. Wait, y'all were being serious? Oh, yes. dead ass. Yeah. yeah. Oh uh, no, so, I didn't see that. So I guarantee you, it's it's part like it was like uh, let's. I mean, it's probably a joke, but let's see if we can make some money. Slash, if they're serious, mm-hmm. then we can validate the sequel. And it made only, I think it made. Well, we won't know yet because. Well, just Friday yeah. night, it made essentially like $85 a theater. Oh, no. Just Friday night. They tried. So wait, unless everybody. Wait, time out. It was $85? Well, the, the, per the, theater? the, the, like the, the income to ratio. Of how many theaters it was in, it got released, re-released in. Uh, it was like eight hundred. Uh, this pro- I might be messing it up, so don't call me on my math. But it was like eight hundred or eight eight eighty five thousand, and it was released in a thousand theaters. So That's embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, it did better its opening weekend. Though. It was number one for a week. I mean, yeah, it's like, kind of crazy. It was a re-release that they didn't that they just kind of did on a whim. Yeah, I said why not? So it's not like, you, yeah, but still, like, like they, you're not losing not, any not money for sequel. it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it might sell. Yes, I mean, it's already on digital, so I don't know what they do. Yeah, that's yeah. why I was like surprised. Like you could rent it. They did it for the memes. That is crazy. literally easy. And they were really counting bad. on meme culture to come through, and they didn't come through this time. Because they're making fun of it. Like, yeah. Look, Backpack kid can't save you. <laughs> I do kind of want to watch it now because it's so bad. Like I've never seen it. I mean, I haven't seen it. Either. The first twenty minutes are good. Wait, y'all haven't seen it? Because it looks horrible. The yeah, first twenty minutes not, are a good I film. Not seeing it because I didn't want to see it. I knew it was going to be ass two years ago when they yeah. started advertising it, <laughs> and then they kept pushing it back. But like, I mm. watch everything, so it's whatever. But I just didn't go that week i remember because we were like yo uh morbius came out and i was like i don't leave my house 
<laughs> you know, the only reason I went was because Sonic 2 was sold out. <laughs> and Tina made me go. I was going to wait for it to come out on digital. And then she's like, let's go see more. Because she's like There's obsessed with Jared Leto. That's that. like her guy. Oh, true, true, so true. I was like, yeah, all right, sure. And she was high and said it was bad, which is rare. Yeah, that's right. So that's how you know. It was like it had everything <laughs> going for it. Yeah. <laughs> Still messed up. The first 20 minutes was great. And then after that, like I could tell it was bad because she was even giving me looks like. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know. Right? I feel like they tried to copy like Underworld, and it's like we passed that phase now. <laughs> I don't even know if that they tried to copy something or make but something. But like in a bad know. way. 2001. Yeah, they wanted that like 2002, and that's when it started gaining traction. And yeah. And then like the third one came out, and everybody was like, all right, we're done with this. They wanted to copy then like the first one, like yeah. early, like late 90s, early 2000s vampire Look, movie aesthetic. I, I was cool with the first one, man. It was, it was neat. Yeah. Second one. They they started getting weird, but I was still with it. And then, uh, you know, by the time they got to like the third and the fourth, and I was like, the third was a prequel. Uh, yeah, 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 with uh, Ron Yep. Uh, yeah, that was confusing but, to but me. By then, it was yes. yeah, because they purposely picked a car- uh, actress that looked, looked like yep. And then, like, yeah. internet wasn't like as big. Like, it was big, but like nobody was going to see like, oh, so, what's this about? Like, so people, I went into it like, oh, like, all right, like her name and stuff. So yeah, they just, they just knew something was off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I remember so, seeing that in theaters just being confused the entire time. I was like, oh, wait, what? Because they fumbled That's not her. Yeah. So many, <laughs> so many movies and like whatever else is do that where they like don't give a big enough world building at the beginning. So it's hard to make sequels. And then they go back and make a prequel that sucks. Because well, that, they're trying it, to give you more stuff to use. It was harder back then too because like nobody was online like that to really know. True. A computer was still a luxury. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm wasn't a necessity until i think it was like 2005 i'm whispering i'm not even popping up on this i'm not in this episode <laughs> did you mic check yourself <laughs> i don't know it's all right hmm. <laughs> at least you want to go back in time and start a campaign like hard drives for the hood or something what, <laughs> yeah, what? what's next on the list yeah man <laughs> anyway before we get into anime there's just two more things i'm going to say um studio piro Launched an official YouTube channel for streaming classic anime titles for a limited time. Uh, like the streaming itself is limited? Yeah. No, like the, the shows are going to be for a limited time. Gotcha. Only their stuff? Yeah. It's just, yeah. So like they have like Hikaru no Go, Magical Angel Creamy, which I have no idea what that is. Is that, a, is that, a, is that one title? It's a classic. Is that one title? Classic. Yes. Classic. Yes. The whole thing like Go and then Creamy? No, 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 no. Because the other thing's about literally Go, like the game, right? Hikaru... Sure. No go, right? Yeah, that's about Go, like the actual like chess game, right? Yeah. Okay. And then the Magical Angel is creamy just... or creamy separate from that? It, creamy is part of Magical Angel, and there's like several Ovas and stuff they're going to have on there. So is creamy is creamiest? <laughs> All right, I know what y'all trying to do. So I just, I just don't know if it's a sequel or not. Yeah. And confused. well, there's like three or four of them. That's why I don't know. Oh, there's oh, three or four knows. creams. Yes, there's gotcha. three or four creams. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good crams mm, double stuff yep and then obviously everyone's favorite is going to be on there they're going to have three episodes of ghost stories so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but classic wouldn't it be like ghost stories is only good if it's the funimation dub though because i thought ghost stories was still on crunchyroll it could be i don't know i mean it might because if it if it's there's the a funimation, funimation dub, dub yeah it, it yeah it should be, still yeah. be so i mean we don't really need it there but is this watch going to be the not dub version and i know like, it's going to be subbed yep bro it's got to be gonna make somebody's sense. going to want to watch Someone that who doesn't know is going to watch it and be like, <laughs> hey just watch ghost stories i don't get the hype <laughs> yeah, yeah they're still not going to get it ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that's true <laughs> young weeb <laughs> some things have to be watched dub i think some things have to be watched sub yeah. then there's stuff ghost in the middle stories. where it doesn't matter but i mean ghost story specifically it, needs that to was be. The it has they, to be they they legally were like were like yo just do what you want yeah so they're like all right bet yeah <laughs> so it's the silliest thing yeah. yeah it was the abridged before the abridged was a thing yeah. bro mm-hmm I'm so happy I stumbled upon it years ago. I was just like, yo, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But yeah. And then the last thing is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is coming out November 18th. November? Yeah. Mm-hmm. November 18th. Yeah, so far. So I got to finish Arceus. I'm not excited, yeah, to be honest with you. I finished the one before. Damn. Sword and Shield. Same. No. I yes, finished Sword damn. and Shield. I was talking I about Brilliant Diamond. You don't have to finish those, though. They're just remakes, oh, bro. I beat that one, yeah. But I didn't finish the original, so... 
Oh, I actually finished uh, Sword and Shield. I'm not excited for Scarlet that. and Violet. Violet, Scarlet. You don't want to play with Lechon? Yeah, you want Lechon? It's the same. Like it's the same game. I didn't watch the the new trailer. Like they mixed Arceus and then they just you know they mixed Arceus and Sword and Shield to make a game, but like they didn't update the graphics, which is annoying. I thought they just used the engine. I don't know enough, so I'm going to bow out. Who's engine is it? So are, it's still the same like catching scheme, like what they do in Arceus, but they added battles back in. Which, I mean, you could battle in Arceus, but it's not the same. Yeah. Oh, you mean that free world? Yeah, yeah. So it's still going to be a free world. And you, yeah, you can still do that, but... I actually hate I don't it. Know, it like, felt very dangerous. I liked it. I mean, they it do chase you. I know. I felt yeah. like I was too immersed. I mean, I get it. Like, <laughs> yeah. to see a fucking... I want full immersion Pokemon. Yeah. That's so true. You're running and dive in a lot. Shit. That's fair. I was like, what the fuck? Like, you couldn't get away from them? Like, the fucking uh, Rapidash? Oh, like the Alphas? and the original gave me anxiety walking through tall grass. Um that's true. Okay. At least you can see him now, though. You can see him. You can see the tall grass. Yeah. It's not as threatening because you're you're not gonna. You, there's no randos. You just see him. Like, oh. In worst case, like, Look, man, my Pikachu got 18 points left, and I gotta get past all these fucking Zubats. Yeah. Yeah. And to your point, you can see them. So like, even if you see them, they see you. You can run. Yeah. Also, why can't you? Why can't you be Ash Ketchum against these giant evolved ones? It's not fair. Rapid Ash stomped on me. Like, how can I just, like, you know, fight to the Why end? didn't you tame him? I don't know. I tried to beat him. Do you even give him nothing to eat? Ash used to get his ass beat. On a regular. The, it took him 18 years did. to win a you championship. Seen Pokemon? Like, like, he, he, like, he would get electrocuted. Yeah, that's like 48. 18 years. That's why he, he didn't. 18 years. <laughs> his cells were breaking down from all of the trauma. Oh, he couldn't mm-hmm. age. Yeah. yeah. His body kept rejuvenating and killed the scars. He had to get over the trauma of his mom dating Mr. Mime. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's weird. All those rough. hands. Yeah. Is she a furry? <laughs> don't explain. I don't think Mr. Mime's a furry. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't put him in that category. Is his mom a furry for liking him? No, because I wouldn't say Mr. Mime's a furry. He's a fur. Yeah. Yo, Mr. Mime and Ice Pokemon now? That's scary. Well, that's the, that's the Aloha region, Mr. Mime, though. Oh, true. So How it's a different region. out there? No, there's different region, like different Pokemon have different. We're talking you know, about Alola being based off of Hawaii. Yeah, so like Diglett had blonde hair. It was a different Diglett. Um, the sh- Sword and Shield wheezing had a top yeah. hat. Yeah. I don't like this. It's weird. It makes sense though. It's like you know different animals. Like why does it a wheezing having a top hat make sense? Or at least a smoke hat. <laughs> Not that it particular, is. but like the Pokemon looking different. Thing that a s- all makes sack, it make yeah. sense because now I'm thinking about Mary Poppins in a chimney sweep. Yeah, there, it's uh, exactly what it looks yeah. like. Yeah, it's that's what though. that's what they were going for. Yeah, I hate this. <laughs> I just I don't know corporate America. I'm just old man yelling at cloud now. <laughs> <laughs> Too many damn Pokemon. <laughs> Only remember the first hundred. <laughs> there used to be a rap. <laughs> There's no rap anymore. How am I supposed to remember all of them? I mean, Post Malone did do now? a song. What is this, a Kendrick skit? It never ends. And it's just like <laughs> a bunch of Pokemon. That's it. What are they on? Like seven hundred or something? Eight hundred. God dang. How do you know that? Because I play it. <laughs> I caught them all in Sword and Shield. That's how I know that. Oh, that makes sense. You yeah. caught them all? I did. Nice. Yeah. Did you catch them all in Sword and Shield? You could, but you had to do it through trade, uh, uh, trades, trade. and you had to do it through well, having like, your Pokemon from the old games pop I, in. Like, I remember I was trying to do that, because I was yeah. like, that's a that's an awesome nerd badge, just having all the Pokemon. I don't talk and about was, it much. I was trying to do it. <laughs> I was trying to do it, then I found out that I had to pay for the... Pokemon Bank. Yeah, and I was just like, Pokemon Bank? a month? Sure I'm did. Two dollars a month, sir. Two dollars. What is the Pokemon Bank? It's like where you can. Store your Pokemon. Yep. So, so you, I moved all my Pokemon for Platinum on the DS from like stuff that I had from when I was younger all the way up through every game that I had. You can do that. Yep. What's the what's the earliest you can go? I think the DS games. Technically, Red and Blue. If you like, move your stuff from Red and Blue through the DS or the uh, uh, Game Boy Advance. Yeah, yeah. And then go from there through the 3DS. What about what about? See, that was about it. You the, literally just have to have all the pieces to do. What it. about Red and Blue? Pokemon that you might have put in Pokemon Stadium and put back on red and blue. If you can trade them back, yeah, because then you just put them back through the Game Boy Advance through whatever uh, Emerald or whatever I had this one it was. That's probably like stat wise would probably be the same as a Mega Charizard. Because but they cheat. do nerf your Pokemon. They nerf them as they that like when you get to the newer generations. Anything that you had, like they get rid of certain moves and wow. certain stats don't exist. That's pretty. But that you have sense. you have your boy if you you know. So that's Putin. That's a, that's a, <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> that's booty. I had a Charizard. We had uh, missing number. I, I had a dream about Putin. Uh oh. 
He put that in your mind. With MK no, Ultra. it was because I was watching Stranger Things. That's what MK it was. Ultra. Oh. See? MK Ultra. That's what fucked me up. I mm-hmm. fell asleep. Like uh, I kept falling asleep in between the, the Russian scenes or whatever. <laughs> and then I was like, what? Yeah. Now I, I remember. You. That's why I had that dream. Illuminati got wow, your mind, soul, and body. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, I'm at it. I was like, I wake up and it was like Skyrim, and I'm like, oh shit, bro. <laughs> oh, what <laughs> up, surprises? Wow. Why do we all? <laughs> it was creepy as fuck. That's why <laughs> Mauricio was over there talking about conspiracy theories. Then he heard a door open and shut. Yes. <laughs> we're over here making fun of the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> they come. <laughs> you go hear the silence and go. Doo, 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 doo. You see what they did to homeboy? He he, uh, he followed their plans and they took him over there. You know what I'm saying? They don't fight things. Right. I mean, stranger we can talk about Stranger Things right things. now. I mean, oh, okay. We skip an anime, but we can get there. We can back to <laughs> we'll anime. Get we can get... We'll get back to anime. <laughs> yeah. All right. Stranger Things. Who watched it? There weren't any dicks in Stranger Things, to my knowledge, as well. Not that we saw. Well, that one doctor's a dick. <laughs> what doctor? The one that wants to be called Papa, fucking pedophile. But yeah. Uh, is he weird, though? Bro. He is weird, but I don't he's know. Like if a, he's like a. He's like a jail pedophile. That for sure, but yeah. he's. It's also like hold my I pocket. mean, like. You needed him to get from point A to point B. Yeah. He did. He did. She did. He's like he's like a shitty trainer. Yeah. yeah. He's like one of he's those creepy Pokemon gym trainer. trainers. He's a Pokemon trainer from the episode where Ash met a kid that had a sand shrew, and he would throw him in the water on purpose to make him stronger, Why and they were stronger. Talking like I was. Gymnast. It's fine though. Okay. Just let it slide. Oh. Just let it go. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. What are you I mean, talking it's about? It's the same. It's the same thing. This is an anime podcast. So yeah. You, yeah. It's good. Yeah. So yeah. Wait, those Pokemon were stronger. I would have to look that episode up because I feel Bruh. like you said that before. Well, Simone Biles was, was a pedophile. Anyway, uh, wait, the gymnast? No, no, the her her uh, was it her the doctor or the oh the doctor? Oh, okay. okay. Anyway, bro, yeah, they beat his this ass is depressing. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, strangest things. So Will look real, real not his age. So look, not just it's. it's not all of them, because Dustin stayed the same. Look, he got fatter. Look, 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 look. Yeah, Dustin gained weight. So I said yeah. that, right? And then uh, Cerise goes, "Don't say that. It's because he has the disease." And I was like, "Oh fuck!" No, he got fatter. No, I, but like he doesn't. Wait, what does he have? I, I don't remember what it's called. He doesn't have collarbones. He, he has some sort of. He can't age. He doesn't age like everybody else. Yeah. Oh. And he doesn't have collarbones, and that's why his teeth. Like Gary Ullman. Okay. Huh. But not to the same extent, okay. not that extreme. Look, I'm, I don't I didn't remember know. what the the the, the thing what is called. called. Yeah. So I'm no expert, but yeah, he got something going on, and I was so I was like all of them except for Dustin, and she was like, "Shut up." Well, <laughs> I would say Mikey didn't grow as much as I thought he would. No, nah, man, he's the same height as uh, like that, yeah, he had a drug addiction. He's the worst one. That's the one with the bowl cut, right? No, my yeah, wait, Mikey's eleventh boyfriend. Will. Mike. Oh, yeah. Lucas, Mikey looks old, too. Yeah. I keep calling... Will is the one that has the bowl cut. Which is the one that disappeared the first season? Will. Okay. He turned well, 40. I keep calling Will He looked old, too. So, if I say Sam, I mean Will. Gotcha. Will and Mike look the oldest. And mm-hmm. 11, too, honestly, to me. Uh, yeah. Dustin didn't age. Uh, Lucas got bigger, Lucas but not his face. got bigger, but his face is still young. That's because he's black. Is Sam the ginger girl? Sam's a ginger. Oh, that's what. Okay. Right. So she doesn't girl. look like she got super she old. Get, Yo, she's yeah. She did pretty good. Think there's but some like, like. But what, what's the Will Will's older brother like that nigga? Oh, the weird face dude. Oh, he looks oh, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a weird ass face. He looks well, he also had like skin. he got yeah. caught with yeah. drugs and like, stuff a couple of seasons ago. So you know like he's it. like on something. I'm pretty it? sure. Also, they're they're still he, they're dating in real life. Who is him and uh Nancy? Somehow he pulled Nancy in real life. Wow. I guess she does look different this season. Well, yeah, you know what, though? Lines in them. Oh, yep. Wow. Doing drugs. It, you, oh, yep. You're probably not wrong, bro. <laughs> yeah. She does not like when they did that flashback uh, scene. You know, like, that one even look like her. Freaking, uh, damn, what's the hell? What the shit? What are you talking about? Why are we doing some undercover? Overall, it's a good thing that's that this name. is the last season. No, um, what's the dad? Not the dad, the real dad. The Hopper? No, not the real dad, the teen dad. They're, they're, oh, uh, oh, you're talking about uh, Joe Carey? I remember his, his acting What's his name. real name? Uh, his freaking name. Uh, uh, his, with the hair. Um, Pretty boy. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
He's the best character. Yes. Joe, uh, with the hair, Justin. Oh, uh, homeboy. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Steve. Yeah, Steve. Steve. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, oh, the best character. He, he, he did it. He didn't. <laughs> Steve is my dude. He I has like a lot Steve of growth, too. but I can't wait for him to love, die. I love the character. She's what? funny. He's got to die this season. I hope he shadows voice in the next Sonic movie. I hope not. Because oh. that'd be dope. That would oh. Because then you got, you know, homeboy and homeboy, and they're the same oh. person. Yeah. Nice. She's a younger clone of him. But he has so much growth, he has to, like, be the one to go. I mean. He better not die. Yeah, but let's not do that. Let's just kill off the. Uh... Kill off 11, bro. Uh, well, yeah, I think that's going to happen, too, but yeah. They're not, but never. I mean, I. I well, this is truly, like, it, the end, and they have no reason not to. They're not going to do it. There, and even if it happens, it's going to be like, I don't know, it's go, there's going to be like a, a little branch left and Mike is going to pick up a branch and be like, <laughs> it'll be like, be baby, I, I can regrow 11. Like baby Groot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like baby Groot. Uh, yeah, Steve. Yeah. Uh, I, that's, I made a post about it. There's like 40 fucking characters. So I'm going to keep calling everybody the wrong damn name. Right. But uh, let you me, know why they did that, though. Because they got money. No, nah, it's not the money. They had they ran out of stories. Like there's no yeah. development from the they had to yeah. include other people's trauma. Otherwise, it's, we got no trauma this it's season. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's because they stole the story, like you said. Oh, and the <laughs> problem is they stole the story. <laughs> and now, because they're not the original creators, they don't know what to do with it. That's fair. I would believe that. That, that, that makes sense. And look, no joke, I thought that since season one because it was a good story and it, the Demogorgon was a cool monster. And they're using D D elements, but then they were changing stuff. Like they did go off the rails. Yeah, like the mind flayer that yeah. they use. Mind flayers in D and D are not gigantic demon monsters. They're humanoid, like squid face people, and they fuck you up. They like literally put tentacles in your head, but not with the, not, but not like what was happening in the in the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they made it too big, and then they then they came back with the new bad guy, who would be closer to the actual mind flayer. Yeah, but now they're not calling him that. He's a wizard or a oh, what is a it? A dark again? wizard. Yeah, Vecna. 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 Yeah, Vecna. dark wizard Vecna. Yeah. But like, what is that? And he's still not the mind. He works for the mind flayer. So why is she so strong? That was that also. Was, how are we just gonna start naming shit? Scary. Yeah, that's right. We can't keep going because we're gonna spoil. Oh, no, we can't get to the very last part. Yeah. Do you think? No, no, that's not a story. <laughs> listen, listen. Do you Every think? Listen, time. listen. Do you listen. think that there's racist racism behind the scenes? Because you ever notice how Lucas and Sam never, ever, ever do anything, but they always got Eleven and Mikey going crazy. Always oh, racist. I feel like I that's character driven. Racism. I think. Yeah. yeah, it's it's crazy man, straight man. Yeah. Like you, you have to like because remember they're in pairs. Uh, well. Will's the odd man out because, especially because season one, he was he's all he's destined to be the odd man. Out. I think season they were coding Will to be gay, and then they then he got Let, scared. Jesus fucking Christ! It, <laughs> the <laughs> it's Mike and Eleven and Dustin and Lucas, right? Will's the odd man out. First season, they're trying to get him back, and then once he comes back, he's always the fifth wheel. Mm-hmm. But Dustin's crazy man, Lucas straight man. Uh, well, it's not so much crazy man, straight man with Mike and Eleven, but like Eleven's fish out of water, Mike's neurotic. Like they, yeah. So they play off of each other. So that's why it's like that. But mm. I hate Mike. He's annoying. I have hated he's Mike since season probably the worst two. Character. I say this season he's less likable. For he, sure. I felt like last season he was too. I, don't I know, haven't man. seen. I don't. It, this is not anything against the actor, but I haven't seen him in anything where he wasn't annoying but like usually he's supposed to be yeah so i haven't seen him anything outside of i haven't looked i haven't watched anything outside of stranger things to know what other character or what he's capable of he's almost always i just hate the character mike i don't hate the actor his character think, sucks. I mean, he's, he might be a cool guy and he's just really he's getting typecast as annoying guy yeah i definitely think mike and will have been purposefully like not part of the plot not mm-hmm. that they're going to bring them back around to the plot, but like because they're just not important characters. Yeah, so they haven't been needed at all the whole time. Yeah, they're just not important. <laughs> yeah, because there's forty characters. No, th- no, look, not even that. This is Dustin's show now. Like they don't need Will or Mike. Yeah, they made a Dustin show. They literally made this it's season like, all Dustin <laughs> Alley. He's the one coming up with all the the, the theories and the right. And the, like the whole D and D focus moment. is his. He's the only one that hasn't plot. grown up. Yep. <laughs> and I meant like that, and like. uh not, wise, yeah, like wise. he's the only one that like still like you know I fucking hate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you signed with Darth Vader. Also, he did get fat. 
I never said that. I said that. He got fat. <laughs> so just so that we're we're open, it's it's cleidocranial dysplasia. Dysplasia. Or CCD. Such an asshole. <laughs> That's it, that's the thing that he Dustin has. I didn't fake. mean it in that sense though. Yeah. AKA the actor. It's cool, man. Yeah. Look, he's no, still man. I mean, size. he's not. He, they're supposed to be freshmen too, so yeah, which is crazy. Cool still crazy. Right. They could have done a two-year, three-year time skip, but, but whatever. You know, they made it a point in the beginning of the season to show like what you're saying, like character-wise, he hasn't grown up yes, as much thank because you. even Lucas is separating away and trying to find his own group of friends mm-hmm. and his own path because you know playing D and D in like someone's house is like not shown as like being grown up. Thank you for specifying. Yeah. No, yeah. I was going to go back to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Piece of shit. Because <laughs> in that era, D&D is like demonized. So it's yeah, not yeah. like it is. Just like today. Pokemon cards was for us when yeah, we were yeah, yeah, younger. Yeah. So yeah. It's like and Harry Potter. Not showing and everything we liked, actually. Kind of things. It's like counter to popular culture. Digimon, anime. Everything was demonic. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. anime is still kind of demonic. But... No, Sasha. shut up. <laughs> I mean, it might not be too far off, though. Look, one of their <laughs> monsters is now the monster terrorizing the town. Did you say all real monsters is no, down the monster one of their monsters. in the town? Oh, one yeah. of their yeah. monsters from the show. Yeah, <laughs> Olivia <laughs> fucking Crumb. Oh, that's that's the right. plot twist. It's just all real monsters? Yeah. <laughs> it's one of Crumb's stories. <laughs> that was suck. Mm. We've had worse endings for other things now, so. Yeah. I mean, it was suck for the all real monsters. <laughs> they're not, like, they're not very tanky. Can you imagine that? Getting hit with a spike baseball bat? Is we don't know what they're capable of. True. They never had to go ham on anybody. Yeah, true. Damn. So yeah, back to Stranger Things. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I think I think that so, we tapped the, the Stranger Things bucket here. I feel like you no, didn't have anything else you wanted to actually, throw in. No, hold on. Why? Why? Why is it that the the, the scientists think the only eleven can beat whatever is causing trouble when like when they're physical? Shoot them. It's the military. It's the government. It's not the scientists. The, the government the think that. Think it's all 11. Yeah. What I'm saying is, you got guns and like. Demogorgons and, and Vecnas and Mind Flayers are physical when they're on your plane. Blast them. They don't know that. Yeah. They just keep finding dead bodies and the, the, their their whole thought process is there's these people keep dying. There's this girl with powers on the loose. Oh, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying why did the doctors, her doctors, think that she can stop the evil in town? Oh, when they could just, just shooting them? It's just, yeah. Well, it's a rural town, bro. I think it, it's 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 probably disconnected, partly pride like because they're mm-hmm. like, hey, well, our creation can beat yeah. this creation. Oh, yeah. that's that's fair. But also, also they, got a they know that there's like a connection as well because yeah. she can open the gate. Yeah, so she'd be good for that. She could sever the connection. So they probably just decided like she's the she's the answer. Yeah, really, you need to make Vecna chase them outside and then shoot him in the face. Honestly, each each they season just need to let the mil- like. If they can find a way right. to get the military or somebody with guns just into the that world, shit. they're the bad guys. Just nuke that no shit. No more, no more show. Because mm-hmm. then, because like they can shoot up a demigorgon, they can shoot up the mind flare. Yeah. All of it, all of them take physical damage, but the military's never around. That's if they roll twenty. The they could they drop skill That's if they, they roll a twenty. Yeah. <laughs> What's that shit called? Not the underworld. The under. The upside down. Upside down. They could just drop like a seal <laughs> team inside the upside down yeah. with full gear. Each season's baddie had like a theme though, right? Like the first one was Demi Gorgon. What was that? Was that just based on D and D or was that? Yeah, it's all, they're using all D and D names. Yeah, but like this monster's straight up Freddy. Yes. Yeah. Like they've they've made it a point. They even hired Robert England as an actor. But even the so, oh shit, you're right. But even the yeah, power they set said it too. Yeah, yeah, they did. Like, they did it. They did. Yeah, they explain. Yeah, they explained him by using Freddy Krueger. Yeah. yeah. But even the power set is D and D because the mind, the Illithids and mind flayers have sonic abilities like like Eleven does and can like literally do that little bone breaking shit. Mm. They can do that in D&D. But they also can get in your head the way he gets in people's heads. Mm. Honestly, I don't know why he's even doing everything he's doing. Like, why are you floating people? When, especially when they're by themselves. Why are you floating them? Can't nobody see that. It's for not dramatics. Anybody. Yeah, he just like, he's just over dramatic. Yeah. That's for us for the audience. Yeah. That's for us. That's for the people Thank not in the upside down. Because, yeah, he could be like, yeah. <laughs> right, he's doing all that. Yeah. Yeah. Also, what's the point of killing him? Is that doing anything? Is he getting any power from it? Like, how do we don't understand? know yet. He's probably feeding from the negative energy, like all the other bad guys do. Oh wait, so. we do know. They they say why in this the, the show. Oh, oh, they, they probably f- fell asleep in the middle of the last. Probably fell asleep. Probably the last episode. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Like I know the yeah, but anyway, yeah. all right, cool. Coming next month. 
Who? Volume two. And it's slotted oh, yeah. to be what, like oh, an hour and 50 to... minutes mm-hmm. each episode? Two... I mean, so the first one... one's 30 minutes, I think, and the second one's like two hours and some change or something. I thought they were both long, The lo- like episode eight and nine. I feel like nobody knows the answer because the first time I looked up on Wiki or whatever, like I thought Netflix like, posted the time frames. Did they? Yeah. Oh, I didn't look at the Netflix one. The I know each I one's over an hour. We're thirty and two and a half. I remember that that post where it's like every episode's like a movie. Yeah. So maybe it's one and two. I fucking felt like it. That's Some why I kept falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, the episodes yeah. are very long. So I was, I was going the last episode's an hour and forty minutes. Yeah. When I was watching five movies in a row. In a row. Yeah. It was rough. Yeah. Like I literally fell asleep on the second to last episode. Um, the one before the last episode and purposely watched the last episode at a different time. I do I need, like, I'm I need not to do the same thing. An hour and forty minutes straight. I didn't even realize the time frame because Tina just had it on play, so I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I was just thinking, oh, this is a long forty five minutes because I was tired. <laughs> you know what's wild? You, you notice the time before cell phones when you just like leave and drive across the country and your mom's in Russia. And no one knows what's going on. I think it's crazy she was able to just pull 40K out like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm leaving it alone for the story. But I was like, yo. I don't because they also moved across the... I think they got... They got like government money she, or something. They, they yeah. oh. moved them and gave them... Yeah. To okay, keep them gotcha. Quiet. Gotcha. That's but why I was 40 was his. Oh. That was his oh, I thought it was... No, that's what the letter said. It was like pull, or the guy was like pull his pension out. He had 40 That I didn't know. Okay, I missed that part. Yeah, 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 yeah I missed yeah. that part then. So I thought that I was think, hers. I was like, what? I think that you know, what the government did do, I think they didn't really talk about, but it had to have happened because there's no one mentions it. She is Hopper like now. She was able to pull it because she's his wife. Yeah. But I don't think he knows that. <laughs> Cause like <laughs> He wouldn't, yeah, because he was Yeah, he was a Russia. He don't know. Yeah. But somehow she was able to pull the money that yeah, would only she, be his money. They didn't I explain remember, that either. I remember her saying she's like or she says the opposite. She said, That's not my husband. Right. But like they already is somebody's already Called her Miss Hopper or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it had to be those scientists because, like, she got custody of uh, Eleven. Yeah. And her last name was Hopper in the new school. So, yeah. Nobody thought that was weird that this lady just had this kid. So, no birth certificate, no social security card, which means the scientists had to do it for her. Also, why is Jane in regular classes? Bruh. Even in the kid. 80s, that's like not normal. She'd be, yeah. Like, like, she should have been in like her own separate group. With the other yes. kids. What other kids? You know, special needs kids. Yeah. Oh, you sell, yeah. 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 So. I mean, you're not wrong, but. Why are you smiling, Tiffron? It's my face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's I no commentary to that. that they there's should actually have... like no like. Yeah, it's yeah. weird that they like placed her. Like, I get it for the plot. Absolutely like, oh, right. you got to make fun of her so she has her carry moment. That but she's she still got bullied in the ESL, so I don't know why they would just I put her in the I think she would have. Mm. Okay. In the 80s? I mean, the other kids, but like she would have been in a special <laughs> class. It wouldn't have been the same to the same extent. True. She would have got that work in the hallway. Yeah. And the teacher just let this shit happen. <laughs> Yo, like, yeah. That's what I would say. Wait a second. <laughs> that is true. That teacher was just like lawless. Like, yeah. He's real. Go at it. Yeah. He about nothing. Go off. <laughs> <laughs> but then the cops want to act all crazy when she hit that kid over the head. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. But y'all know she to the extreme, yeah. And we're, we're taking you to jail. Like, what did you want to kill her? And she was white, that I made no know. sense. Yeah, no, no way that would have happened in real life. She wasn't white enough, so it was a hierarchy no, of no, white. No, no. Yeah, it's her hair. Yeah. Yeah. The, the girl she hit was prettier than her, mm-hmm. so they, and they, she was blonde. Hair. I think it was, yeah, it had like, to be blonde. Yeah, like you said, because but the other girl was also white, so that's that's hierarchy. Next, yeah, yeah, and she was like a cheerleader, wasn't she, or something. Status, she and was, money. yeah, she had some status. She some was something sort. people knew her, yeah. I mean, everybody knew her, and everybody was like on her side while yeah. the entire skating rink was, yeah, was circling around, laughing at her, yeah. and throwing stuff. Yeah, how did they get control of the skating rink? There's no adults there, look, because the it was clearly teenagers were the DJs, yeah, like, yeah, who, who, the who running the organization? <laughs> hey, oh, Mike is still the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might need to do yeah. shit to stop that. And then when he He's went to the DJ, nothing. yeah, nothing. Hell, hell, uh, yo, <laughs> yeah. I like it was a girl, but like somebody getting hit. Oh, in the eighties, right. he would have hit her. Should have. We just got home training late recently. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah, you got a good point. Eighty six, he would have rocked her ass, mm-hmm. <laughs> especially for touching his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Mm. My thing is, how do you have all these other adventures three seasons for three seasons where you had to be tough? 
And now you can't let some kids, like you can't beat some kids. Yeah, Mike's character development is pretty weak. Yeah, he fucking sucks, bro. Like, they didn't really pay, like, like to your point, they didn't pay any attention to him this season. Yeah. They were like, yeah, whatever. Will was kind of soft, too. He was in that moment. Will's always been soft, though. Let's he was be so honest. tiny. Yeah. But he's not tiny now. He's a grown ass man. He's just a grown ass child. <laughs> Will a grown ass child. Two to like six cool. one. Right. He's an iron giant <laughs> amongst humans. Voice got deep and everything. That's all he had to do was turn his voice up a little bit. I do Boy. like the high dude, though. He's probably one of my new favorites. Oh, Argyle? The Sox yeah. man? Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. The thing that bugs me with that and the 40 characters is, <laughs> like, you know, like, the mo- the show doesn't have a budget. If they can hire him, like he's not like an A list. Who is he? But he's up and coming. Like he's he's been in uh, at least like six, seven movies. He was in Blockers. He was in the Package, and he's always the same high stoner character. Mm. But like I know they cut him a good check. So like for him to just be a tertiary character to just be thrown in there, mm-hmm. like. Netflix is just like well, maybe he costs. maybe he wanted to be in it. Like you know, how everybody signs on to be a stormtrooper. Yeah, I mean, even they're yeah. not getting paid. Maybe it was like one of those things where it was like a fifty fifty. He's like, yeah, I get to be in Stranger Things. I don't maybe, know. but also Netflix just they, they, cut they, I do like, but they do they? Because like they cancel I mean, everything. So. Now, <laughs> see, I was joking I mean, with like, a friend uh, about that, but yeah. like this is Stranger Things. This is like their baby. I guess that's probably why we have like they, seven episodes about an hour long. That's it's like. Front end, back end. Yeah. yeah. Like, they'll throw money at stuff. And then if it doesn't hit whatever arbitrary number they come up with that they don't tell anybody, yep. then it's like, all right, cut it. That didn't work. Yeah. AKA the, the get next. back. So. Mm. The highest budgeted Netflix. Get down. Sh- no, they get down. Yeah, they get down. Yeah. Highest budgeted show ever. And then it got canceled. I don't. I didn't even see it. I know. A lot of people didn't. That's mm. why I got canceled. Good had point. such a great cast. And now they're spending all their money on foreign films. Because yeah. it's cheaper. I mean, that's 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 a part of them cutting back, though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like they have I more content. I think it's growth strategy too. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Yeah. But at the same time, like I see why I, they're doing I, it. I read read up on like the whole like Netflix falling apart thing. One, their strategy. We explained it last episode. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it it's goofy. It all it all seems to come down to the two dudes running it. Having a whole bunch of pride because, like, if they weren't so prideful, they would like Stranger Things would be weekly because mm-hmm. we've already established like dr- dropping everything at once is a bad strategy. Yeah, and I think they just like knowing that like people love binge watching, and it's like so so we drop everything at once. We're Netflix, and everybody else is like, okay, but our shows get talked about for three four months. Everybody for, watches your show and forgets about it after a week. People do love binge watching, though. I'd rather get it out of the way, personally. They, yeah, they I get do, it, though. But see, well, marketing wise, I get it. If yeah. it comes out weekly, yeah, I, would. I think if it's a show you don't know whether or not it's going to be good, you drop the whole season. But if mm-hmm. it's an established show, you definitely yeah. weekly release it because yeah. you know they're going to come back for it. Mm-hmm. So now they're doing mm-hmm. this half and half thing, which stupid. It yeah, it you. It's not them giving into the weekly thing. It's them having like a set date they want to push stuff out and the show's not done yet. Mm-hmm. Like, also, the episode's like, too like, long. Like with anime, uh, JoJo. want to release half a, half an anime season. Yeah, but that's just ridiculous. I think Stranger Things like, had to do that though because the episodes were too long this season. They had to do two seasons because it was like... It's season. not even two seasons. They could have just... Yeah, long, they could have just dropped it. I don't know what... They could have just waited until July. I just don't... Like they did Memorial Day and they're doing 4th of July. So I'm not sure what the the correlation is with the holidays and them dropping it. I can see why. Not that I'm wanting it to be that way. Sure, it's just a, so like, post-production can finish. Oh, I thought it was maybe because people are off. I mean, that, like they give them... I mean, like, yeah. But it's also, to your point, like it's like those two episodes alone are probably like as much as the other half of the volume mm-hmm. like together. Yeah. So like it makes sense like cut it in half if they have to do more stuff on it. Mm. Like it's not just them because otherwise they would just drop it all at once on one holiday. Mm. Like it's the show's not done yet, mm. but they still want to stick to their schedule. Or their yeah, I get it. True. So just dropping it all in July weekend or whatever. Yeah. I mean, just go weekly. Like I mean, yeah. whatever. Either way, people are gonna hate you. There's really nothing they can do. If they don't do the the normal Netflix scheme and Netflix starts doing weekly what they're doing, people are gonna complain because they've already gotten used to that. I mean, they already yes. they doing it the three different ways already now. Disney though. Plus was smart though. 
People like, complain, yes, but people will be talking about it. True. For two months. Yeah. And like, and then forget. That's that's the other thing that Netflix is horrible at is marketing. Oh, facts. Yeah. That's why so much yeah. of this stuff fails because they don't market, market. shit. Yeah. Like they market like whatever they like. Stranger Things gets marketed, and then like they might market like three things a year. They didn't even the market season. Was it season four? Yes. They didn't market season four that well. Like compared to the other seasons, yeah, the, the other yeah. seasons had we had egos. Yeah, we had TV commercials. Yeah. They had yeah. like licensing everywhere. Like so much stuff fails because they don't market. They to try to bring the egos back, and then it, it comes out. It's gone. Eighteen other things come out. No one thinks about it ever again. Mm-hmm. It's like, how do you have this system where you're throwing hundreds of millions of stuff and just letting it fall? Yeah, they lost the egos contract. I mean, they probably did. Because but- Mike said, "I made you waffles." I think instead of saying, "I made you egos." No, he said egos. No, he, he said egos. egos. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but I feel like this is probably more ego than anything. Well, they ego, did you mean? Yeah, yeah, it's all ego. <laughs> Um, that this they didn't do as much marketing. Thing segment was to set up that joke. Yep. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're because welcome. I think they did do marketing. I just don't think they did marketing in like US. Mm. So like it was just them saying, "Yo, you they gonna, gonna watch, watch this and works. they gonna love this shit." Mm. I get not. It's gonna be like season, season four of their biggest show, but like new stuff that they still paid a whole lot of money for that has they, big stars. Yeah, and they don't market it all. Like um, I can't remember it. Like bling in. Or- <laughs> Or young, rich, and African. I hate you. They didn't talk about that at all. They did market Bling Empire. They were on uh, Family Feud. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Was Steve Harvey? Yeah. How did that go? It was really weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, you a billionaire daughter, right? <laughs> Look at here. Let me hold twenty. Dude took his shirt off and everything. Like oh, the, the one dude, the main dude, the, the model dude. That's so yeah. cringy. It is. It was. Yeah. They were like doing their character thing, and it was just like, is this real friend. life? This is who we are. Who like this. Yeah, it was like y'all actually act like this. I looked it up. He actually is poor and like is trying to get money from the show. Yo, like, that was his idea, so he could be, so he could have money. Yeah, I was can't wrong. blame him for that. Yeah, and that lady really, she really is married to the the would be emperor of China, still hit emperors. Oh wow! Yeah, the nigga what, in America because of Mao. What's the word? A dynastic family or something? Yeah, like he's from the dynastic line. He would have been like the next emperor if it wasn't for like Mao and shit. I guess. That's mm. crazy. Chairman Mao. That means they got family unlimited money. He may know some fucking secrets or some that shit. card. That card don't decline for shit, mm. right? I mean, but he a doctor though, so that's he what also a doctor. Wondering. Yeah, I think a doctor for fun because the money he gets in California. Because the money that she's spending, I'm like, ain't no and fucking plastic way. surgeon at that. The so like, is making money, but he spent they, 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 the money they spend, like the money she's spending, because she don't think she works. No. Yeah. The money that's being spent from their family is heinous for even a plastic surgeon. I'm like, ain't no way, bro. Yeah. Well, anyway. So, can we talk about anime for two seconds? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I watched Boruto. Yeah. And shit pisses me off. What happened? They just won't get better. Like, they even brought back what's his face, um, Kishimoto. Mm-hmm. It didn't help. It didn't really help. Wait, maybe you got to give really? it time. I hope so. Huh? They brought back Kishimoto. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. We talked about that. That was after the crying scene. Yeah, they were screwing stuff up, and he was like, "All right, all right I'm gonna come back." But the problem is, they're doing dumb stuff. Like it should just ended. Yeah, it should. Uh, Boruto would have been better as a movie, probably. They tried from, that with his old team. They did. You're right. Damn. <laughs> What? You, what? It's just not good. I mean, there's a Boruto movie, but like, that yeah, that was the movie oh. that they should have just left. It should just left yeah, it after. Oh, okay, good. okay. Even the way the way stuff is displayed, the way the powers are shown now, um, like the scaling, the power scaling. Oh, they broke down when um, they made the show. Yeah, it it sucks. Like, it's like if Naruto had been like this, no one would have ever watched it. Yeah, that's how bad it is. Oh yeah, I've only been watching it to now. try to like give it a chance, but it's not. Doing I it. feel like. The way the show starts is probably just like setting it up for failure anyway, because it's like peaceful. Yeah. So like even no matter how you try to like set it up, it's like not gonna be the same anyway. So yeah. it's a different complete show. Yeah. Which sucks because if you watch the other one, you want it to feel the same as this one. And it's makes, which is kind of fucked up that. to say though, because like, you know, Naruto grew up in war. Like <laughs> had to go war. through all that shit. Yeah. And now he finally gets peace and we're like, nah, fuck that. It's children. 
too good. Yeah, right? It is what it is. <laughs> they said That's it literally the what it is, yeah. Oh Even in the show, gosh. they said it. Like, they, they said like, y'all are too soft. Like, Our kids are some bitches. And then they were like, well, we fought for them to be able to live in a To be bitches, world. Yeah. yeah. We fought but them to be able to be bitches. Now they're too much of bitches. Yeah. Like, for instance, and I don't know if this is me remembering Naruto of nostalgia and getting it all wrong, but one one episode, they saved somebody who's an enemy and not even an important person. Yeah. And the other good guys that aren't from the Leaf Village are like, yo, what the fuck, bro? That's the enemy. He's about to kill us. And they're just like, yeah, but we can't, we can't hurt a wounded person. He's already hurt. And I was like, no, that's not how that works. Yeah. Your parents would have murked this nigga. Yeah, I was there's, like, there's, I mean, they do that for, um, <laughs> shoot, what's his name? Oh, man. I can't remember his real name, but Pain. Yeah. That's, that's that backstory. They kill the kids. Yeah. Yeah. So they did kill the kids. Yeah. And this guy's why he's man. an asshole. Yeah. Like they killed the kids in front of him because they were like, that's a warring enemy. Uh, yeah. 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 We can't keep them alive. And this time it's the kids <laughs> not killing a grown man that tried to kill them. And he's not even important to the story. He's just a, a a foot soldier. Yeah. And I'm like, your dad and your dad and your mom would have all slit his throat. Mm-hmm. Like, what is happening? And the other good guys are just like, What are you doing? He tried to kill us. And you can't just let him go. And they're like, Well, he's wounded. We can't kill a wounded man. What? We must fight them with honor. I was like, niggas, you're ninjas. Let him train for a couple of years. Oh, my God. I was so sick. That's what actually, that was the final straw for me when I was just like, I can't do this anymore. You still got to watch. Yep. (laughs) You've got too many episodes in now. I'm waiting for the first episode to happen where he's like a rogue ninja or whatever. I need to see what happened to cause that. Okay. Like, they they already did the one thing they did to our one character, and that didn't cause it. So, what's going to cause it at this point? Hmm. I don't know. You just read the manga. That's a good Fuck idea. the show. Yeah, the show fucking sucks, bro. Yeah, the manga's over, right? Or is it? It's close? still going. Oh, it's, it's not it's, a lot. It's not long. At least the manga's the actual manga. The manga's the actual story. Yeah, yeah, because oof. Yeah, because they they were when they were on chapter thirty five, they were on like episode one thirty. Even the fights aren't <laughs> animated cool anymore. Like, nope. They used all the budget for that one triple fight. Yeah. That <laughs> was the best tell? thing they ever done. <laughs> yeah. And that was the, the entire season's fight. budget. <laughs> Even the coloring is like weird. Yeah. And the character design is more flat and like weird. Yeah. It's like. Mm. But yeah, nobody's watching Berto, let's be honest. Yeah. It's He's not. Bad. Nobody talks about him in general. That's super sad. They probably should have time skipped like three generations. <laughs> And like showed you back like backstory of like peace like times. some JoJo shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong, right? Oh. Show me the peace times and in, in flashbacks, yeah. but then also show when things just go go to shit. I mean, that's what they, they did with Naruto, be essentially. Ninjas. Yeah, yeah, See? that is where it's going. But then, or even, or even, look, check this out. Somebody's gonna steal my idea. Watch this, Lilin Quay. Let them get all the way to like mo- like past us, right? Get to the real modern times with like technology and stuff. And then have everything go to shit. Like some kind of like monster EMP goes off. And these little kids that are descended from ninja families have to relearn that shit. That'd be tight. But like whatever Boruto is, like which is, Boruto's taking place in like 1965 in mm-hmm. our times because Naruto's World War Two. Yeah, but they got flat screens. Well, it's a combination. I guess. I think. Because yeah. they, they suddenly went from like having to walk everywhere to like there's trains. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and like radios and yep. flat screens. TV. Hamburgers. Yeah, every, yep. Ninja kit toolkit. Yep. Yeah, like regular. They just combined. I think they combined like sixty years. They took like nineteen fifties to like now, which is a, a giant. They must have an Elon Musk or some shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. they just <laughs> well because they had peace, so they had time to think about things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do agree. Like, if they would have um made like Naruto, um, the fourth age, yeah, like, two generations, and like he's like on his like old old man stuff, yeah, and there's war again. That would have been like old man Naruto would have been dope. Yeah, like that would have been the one to to want to watch. Yeah. Old That'd man Naruto. Dope, right? But let's stop talking before we spoil it. Anything else, you know? I mean, Naruto and his grandson. And make his we son, don't need he, that's a spoiler technically. He don't have a grandson. He could. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. Hypothetically, if Naruto <laughs> he could. were to have a grandson <laughs> one day, a better show would have been the grandson. Boruto fucking? Don't answer that. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> at his age I hope not he, he might be to worry about yo a week but no if Naruto let's say Boruto never became a ninja or just like went to ninja school and then became a businessman or whatever because technology was increasing yeah and then his son Naruto's grandson was a little badass that wanted to learn to be like his granddad that would be, to- would be tight 
And then, like, because all the ninjas would have kind of died off and there's no one fighting anymore. And then all of a sudden, you need ninjas again. That so you want JoJo, but Naruto? Yes. You want them to skip to Jotaro? Yes. Got you. Give me a time skip. I don't know, man. <laughs> well. I'm just tired of the bitch assness. What else you got on your anime list there, buddy? Uh, we can go quickly through, like, Spy Family. Like, I think Spy Family has been a really, really good ride so far. It's been it's solid. Got nine episodes in right now. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, have you? You're, are you caught up on Spy Family? One episode, even? You had to put me on the spot. I was just not going to say anything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my bad. Shit. I thought you were going to say one <laughs> one episode at least. Nope. Are they a Dubbed. family of spies? Mm. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. No, nope. you, saw that you said you were on. You you, you watched everything. Yes, that shows that's the Esper daughter and the assassin wife. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. You gotta watch it. That's all. I heard it was good though. We can't talk about it. Yeah. Well, I'm really enjoying it. I love and it. I love too. the family dynamic. It's a, yeah. It's like adorable, but also like super funny. Yeah, I needed a, a Boji like replacement. So yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is my oh, Boji replacement. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Speaking of spies, which reminds me of assassins, which reminded me of Killua and his family because they're a family of assassins. Hunter Hunter is getting four more chapters. Oh, true. You're right. That's and going that's Killua not going to be in it. Well, they they haven't been in it. This is for the anime. So the anime, they're they're doing another season, but it's gonna focus on um, Karapika. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. He's been gone Hunting for a down minute. the bad guys. Yeah. So he's still if got you a shovel on his back. Yeah. So if you keep uh, reading the manga, if you read past where they altered it in the anime, um, it follows him going to the new world. So oh. that's what the the chapters of the been new world or the dark continent. Dark whatever. Same trip. Mm. You got a shovel. I don't know. I, I, I'm <laughs> dead. Because <laughs> they 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 announced the chapters and then they announced that they're animating the next saga. Oh wait, they're animating it. And that's that's the rumor. Yeah, supposedly yeah. is that they're going to animate wait, the first part of the. How do you announce the rumor? Which is it? One Piece dude, the dude that wrote One Piece was the one that like leaked that there was four new chapters and wait, that they, they were out? doing that. Wait, yeah, so they hang out. Not it's, confirmed? Confirmed? Is it confirmed? it's confirmed through him, so I don't know if that's legitimate or not. Yo, He's a legit person. Like, yeah, he is a person. A leak. That, that uh, everybody hates Chris said that Jaden Smith was going to be static shot. Damn, I hate you old. You Who know said what? That? Oh, I miss that, that rumor. What's his name? James Tyler. Yeah. Uh, the dude remember. that did. Um, everybody hates Chris. Terry well then, yeah, we're still on that. No, Good. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Freak. He's also in Abbott Elementary. Yeah. yeah, that guy. Yeah, but yeah, we're on that same. That Yo, what if we Lucas know the chapters for sure happening. Who? But the Lucas anime is still a rumor. No, nah. I take him a static shot. I mean, he's the right age, I think. But no, nah. I don't like it. Not Lucas. No, I'd still rather take um, Shaolin Fantastic. Who that? Shamik Moore. Oh yeah. Who that? I can see that the voice of Miles Morales. Yeah. Oh, ain't you old? He got. Now? He, got he, he is I a little bit old too. He like is, but he he gets to do it. He got problems though. So he like, got that fifteen year old frame. <laughs> <laughs> What's his problems? What he do? He he need to shut up. He just yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he was saying wild stuff. He yeah. said a lot of wild stuff. Uh, <laughs> he's still made in the like next game though. <laughs> oh, wait. Which to be one? fair, I don't think he said any wild <laughs> stuff since the wild thing he said. Yeah. Well, what did he say? Was a yeah, I'm not sure what he said either. What did he say? No, it. Oh, the content. We, we talked about. We've it, talked all the like, podcast before. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I missed it. But it was like me too. <laughs> he said something along the lines of like, uh, "Was it?" He was talking to black people, and he he said that, like, I can't remember. But Did was, he told black people to pull no, themselves no, up by the bootstraps. Something similar. Oh no! Yeah. Oof! Ooh! He was saying like, mm-hmm. uh. Something about like talking to people like you, like they're your parents or something. Something along the I can't remember. Yeah, yeah it, but it was it like, happened a couple of years ago. I, I got what he was trying to say, but it sounded terrible. Out way. He wasn't the one to say it. That's something that only your parent could say to you, yeah. oh. and you not act ignorant afterwards. Mm-hmm. So like, I see what he was trying to say. So the world was like, "Nigga, you fifteen? Shut up!" No, nah, they're they're just like like you're not the one. Like you, they just they just <laughs> called him from one coon to the next. Yeah. Damn. But, I see what he was trying to say, but that's the type of thing that only your mom could tell you and you not start Damn. acting up. Mm. Yeah. So 
Yeah. But it's been a couple of years, so maybe they, people forgot until so we just reminded maybe. them. <laughs> now we just reminded them. Yeah, Sorry, right. buddy. No static still, shock for you. I still want him to be in roles. He's a he's yeah, a good oh, yeah, actor. Yeah, he can yeah. dance. He's I'm, a triple threat. I'm still ish. still a fan. It's yeah. just you could tell that he's been having smoke blown up his ass since he was a teenager. Yeah. And felt like he could say whatever he wanted. You definitely yeah. don't want the smoke there. Mm. Nope. <laughs> Goodness. Um Shield Hero came out. And I fell off. Like you haven't watched it? I started it. Oh, wow. oh okay, yeah, we're the same. Yeah. Uh, we're in the same yeah. boat. I got to episode two and I was like, I'm not I really feeling so, this. Uh, it's not doing what season one. This did. isn't a spoiler. It happens in the first episode, but I was weak when. Well, it's not really a spoiler. I don't think so. I'm just say it, bro. It's fine. When he got another slave, I was like, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, kind yeah. of a running thing where it's just slavery is okay. It's a full blown harem now, right? It, I mean, he uh, yeah, he's been working near. on I mean, he's it. Yeah. Damn near, it's getting there. But he doesn't like any of them romantically, which right. is right. To his, to his, like, they're all like his kids. As hard as it is yeah, to defend, the, he's grooming them. <laughs> Wait a minute, he's drinking them. <laughs> Speaking of eleven, oh come on, <laughs> come on, guys! You, I mean, you, you <laughs> got the joke up. You saw, you saw the TikTok, whatever she made, <laughs> where she's like, "I'm the standout, you the stand in." I did not see oh, that. No. Oh wow, okay, it's yeah. a drink song. Yeah, no, didn't say eleven did that. Yeah, she did a video when, when, well, like, look, behind the scenes. I thought he had scenes. a talk with her and was like, "Look, you're making the block hot." Like, oof. Like I Ooh. guarantee like, she did hot ones. Is that? <laughs> oh, that was a good episode. Yeah. I'm willing to believe that Drake isn't a pedo. He's just corny and and is an idiot. I believe and that. Doesn't think yeah. that maybe I shouldn't let the world know that I'm that I've been like big brothering this girl because he's probably like a big Stranger Things fan because he's a cornball like us. Yeah. But we are smart enough to not. <laughs> That's I mean, people forget that Drake is a weirdo from Toronto. Like, he's a weird child star Canadian kid. Yeah, and they're all happy and you friendly. Know, and, and when you phrase it like he's that, Canadian, that makes sense because he's Canadian. Mm-hmm. He's also a child star, yeah. so like and he has like, a connection. And that's yeah. probably like, look, like let me, you know, give you some knowledge, like sort let of me thing. Give you the game, yeah. And plus, like he's probably also like fanboy. Yeah. And she's like, I know Drake. And it's like. Everyone ain't gonna look at it that way. Stop. Right. Stop. I mean, all the people who, were, who got mad about it were the people who don't like Blackman anyway. But <laughs> What's next on that list, me. buddy? <laughs> Shield Hero. Got it. <laughs> what? What, so, what was the yeah. next one? So our problem with Shield Hero. Look, look, look. Is that I'm I'm a stand by him on this one because it he meant it one way, but I know a lot of white people that also shit on Drake and bring this up every chance they get. They don't like black people either, and it's it's not. Yes and no, but it's like they're just really quick to throw away a black man. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Send him up the river. And like that's that's instantly what like pissed me off about the whole Drake thing. Like, one, he should have fucking known better. He should have known how that was gonna look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but also like on they're really quick to like yeah. yeah. That's why anything happens. Anything happens and you a nigga and it's it's a rap. Yeah. And like I'm quick to to like point that out. True. Like I'm not gonna say any names, but like I, there's a group of people I know. And their one of their rules is we always believe victims no matter what. Yeah, that's good. Because usually, you know, folks don't believe the victims and then, you know, mm-hmm. and I get it. I yeah. get it. I get where you're coming from. It's a good place. I get it. Mm-hmm. But also Emmett Till. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they don't think like that. Mm-mm. So it's my job to be like, but Emmett Till. Like, mm-hmm. anyway. It's the reverse Terry Crews. I got you. <laughs> 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 but um but look as hard as it is to defend uh homeboy from show hero or you know to defend the show hero like he ain't messing with none of them or he don't like them and they keep volunteering yeah. to be his slave yeah that was and that was his thing the whole episode he he's was always like, like no, no, i'm not that. gonna take you on as a slave if you don't want to like i'm not gonna force you and he really said that and she was like, no, I want to, please. So he was like, all right, man. You can't whatever. really help that. <laughs> like, yeah. We he, here. He's justifying <laughs> it by like, well, we were fighting to save the world anyway. Yeah. He's like, we here already. So. <laughs> and also, I think they said he's the one you get a, they get a power up from being connected. Yeah. To him. She wanted to power up. So that was the intent. And I, I get it. I get it. And the, I, honestly, in the world of anime and tropes, it's this a is, lesser this is how of all the evils. It. Yeah. So. It's also blame the writer, not the character kind of thing. The character is like, hey, dog, I ain't down with this. 
And the writer's like, yeah, slaves. Oh, my God. That's what's really happening. Mm. <laughs> but Shield Hero himself as a character is like, nah, dog, that's weird. I'm from Japan. I see, I see what you're saying. I don't know if yeah. I'm worried that way, but I, I wouldn't either. But... <laughs> Technically the same person. <laughs> 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 Actually, I'm glad you said that. They are, they're the same person. So the, I think Rogers Shield Hero. Through themselves. Right, well, yeah. I think the Shield Hero, the writer's writing Shield Hero to try to like justify his own weirdness. Whereas in like Jobless Reincarnation, <laughs> oh, that guy is just like leaning into it. Like Jobless Reincarnation, that guy just leans into it. He's like, yep, yeah, I'm like this. He's like, Look, I'm a creep. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> He's like, I am I'm weird. I'm going to call myself out on it. Yeah. I guess I thought you were going to say a whole other show, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so other shows that have happened. <laughs> uh, you watch Dance, 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 Zero? Yes, it's uh, the Shonen Ballet uh, anime of the season. Shonen Ballet, yeah. What? So right. it's about this kid uh, that's he's got this real masculine thing, but he's always wanted to be a, a ballerina. Um, but his dad dies. And. <laughs> He's like, all right, I guess I'm going to try to be the man in the house. So he had that like male, you know, um, I guess trope put upon him. So he was like, yeah. I can't do this. Uh, and then in high school, he meets a girl and, you know, he starts dancing for the the school that she's a part of. So it's that's kind of how it builds up because they're leading to like a big festival. But it's really it good. Super wholesome. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is the the necks are long as fuck. I don't get it. Why? I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. That. I seen that. Code. Code gays. Yeah, it's Look, yep. It's Ko, about like that. Ko, Koge is, is like one of my favorite anime, but I stayed away from it for so long because I was like, "That's fucking character design." Yeah. But yeah, that's all I got. You, uh, it's worth a watch. I like it. I, it's on my list. I think when we uh, do our next episode, I probably some. It's got some really pretty scenes in it too. Nice. So nice. that's like my obscure anime this season. What about Love After World Domination? That shit's fire. If you're not watching that, you need to. It's comedy, action, mostly comedy. Is but it it's, romance? Yeah, it's based on like they're they're mocking the Power Rangers. Oh, so it's like Super Sentai. Oh, so the red the leader of the Rangers falls in love with Rita essentially. So that shit's huh. fire. Nice. I, might watch I like the trailer because it literally looks like they're like it, Sentai and it's funny as Power fuck. Rangers as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> um. Other than that. We can talk about these other things next time. So more more Obi-Wan. We'll talk about Sneakerella next time. Sneakerella? Maybe we all can get a chance to watch it. The New York. I went to watch it, and my wife just said no as soon as I selected it. <laughs> Oof. But she likes dancing and, and musicals, and all right. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you guys to catch up on Obi-Wan, so we'll get yeah. all understand. And the boys. Anakin. Oh, and the boys, you know. Close your curtains when you watch the first episode of The Boys. There you go. And uh, we can probably talk about Top Gun, maybe men. Sure, Everything I've never seen. Everywhere. I didn't watch Maverick. I saw a meme that said the first Top Gun caused a five hundred percent boost in enlistment into the Navy, God. and then it said, "Don't let the sequel have you sweeping water off the deck when it's raining outside." <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so then I asked some sailors, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah. that happens to people. Oh, You'll no. be sweeping water off the deck in the rain." Yep, oh, they do that in all what? Or I don't know, yeah. Air Force, but I've seen. TikToks like army dude and marines doing it. There's no way I wouldn't like lose my mind. I've they've made us do it one time at a at Toyota and like I that, never had to do any dumb shit like that. I was like, I need a new job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I never had to do any dumb shit like that. Oh no! In my yeah. non-military job, I was told to pick up cigarette butts, and I was like, I don't smoke. And the dude was like, Well, I don't care. And I was like, well, Fuck you. And guess what? I didn't do pick up cigarette butts. But I'm not in the military, so I got away with it. <laughs> what was it going to do? Beat my ass? I can't do that. Um, Sorry. All right. And then we can talk about Housewives of Dubai. That's in the show? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, bro. I love that. I'm going to watch it's it. It's on Netflix? It's on Peacock. It sounds like it would be on Netflix. Maybe Hulu. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. Well, I love reality shows. Yeah, man. It's going to be it's good. It's Vader good. was in the right. I guess we're out. All right, y'all. <laughs> Check me out on season three of Bling Empire. <laughs> Where I get my rich wife, rich oh, white God. wife, he said. Well, do they're, no, they're Asian? They're so. Asian over there. That won't make a difference for more. <laughs> <laughs> nope, long as she got some money. Oh no! <laughs> All right, bye. Peace. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>